Hello, hello, hello. Hello, indeed. Hello. Good afternoon. And it's uh, 20, 21st, uh, 21st, of, 21st of November 2023 and uh, 4.20 4 4 p.m. I am presently up to date with my videos. There was a six month backlog and I uh, got myself back up to uh, back up to date now. I thought uh, maybe I won't film for a while or maybe I, I will. Um, did a lot of admin with things. Now, this came, this arrived in the mail. This arrived in the mail. This album here. This arrived in the mail. Final. It's a 150 gram pressing. Um, Ozzy Osbourne's 2000, I thought it was 2006, Ozzy Osbourne's 2007 Black Rain album and uh, arrived in the mail about 10 days ago. I actually really like the album cover, big history with this album, big history. So I haven't taken the shrink wrap off. I do intend to take it off one day in the not too distant future. Produced by Kevin Cherko, and I think Ozzy at this point was working with different producers for uh, the albums that he that he did. As far as I'm aware, as far as I'm aware, um, as far as I'm aware is that uh, this album didn't uh, wasn't immensely popular amongst fans at the time. I think it went a bit uh, under the radar. I think it went a bit under the radar. I remember it coming out because I had a, a copy of it on um, the old DVR discs, like CD discs, this back in the uh, back in back in the different time back in the different times. Came when it when it came out. I heard it. I heard it a lot. And I, what I was actually doing at the time was I would play it where I lived at the time and I'd play it often. I heard this album a great deal when it came out uh, and I drank a lot of white wine while listening to it. A lot of white wine. Oh. <laughs> a lot of white wine and listened to it numerous times. Numerous, numerous times. And then uh, I get this thing about the albums that I listen to, they remind me of the time I heard them. And um, so, uh, in regard of this, um, I, I don't know. I think it went under the radar with fans. I'm not entirely certain. Um, this, uh, I liked it then, but I completely disconnected from it. I really just, I really just completely, uh, I completely, um, and the Aussie logo is different for every album, I like that, um, always a different logo. So, about, uh, about Black Rain 2007, listened to it constantly non-stop for about two months, okay, but then I, I disconnected from it, I went on to, I went on to some other things. Things when I take the shrink wrap off this, this will uh, this is attached to the shrink wrap here. Um, it's a really good album cover. But I mean, let, let's talk about this further. I'd like to talk about this. Further. I was just I was sitting here a few minutes ago, about five minutes ago, and I thought I'm going to talk about Black Rain because it's in my head. I've been listening to it over the past, you know, a couple of days ago. I listened to the album in its entirety. Great album. When I'm in the mood for an album, the album can speed by goes by pretty quickly. And um, so I listened to it back then, and it was fantastic. It was but then I completely disconnected from everything down to earth and onwards from 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 from, from, um, from, from there. Okay, and also I know that Zach Wild wasn't Zach Wild wasn't. Uh, I think Zach Wild was not on. Um, he wasn't on Scream, and he wasn't on Down to Earth. Okay, so yes, it was actually Joe Holmes who was with Ozzy um, for Scream, Scream album. Zach Wilde was still, Zach Wilde did Down to Earth. Joe Holmes uh, did, um, Joe Holmes did, 
the Scream album, and Gus G also contributed as well. Joe Holmes and Gus G both toured with Ozzy. Uh, yes, uh, yes, and uh, what's the thing I was saying? I was saying no, that, yeah. Um, so Joe Holmes and Gus G. Yep. So, I did not hear this album for a decade. Black Rain, didn't hear it for a decade. And, um, more than that. Actually, a lot more than that. Uh, and then, what was it? A, few, a couple of months back now, I thought, Black Rain. I'm never going... I, actually, last year I said to myself, I'm never, ever, ever, ever going back to, back to Black Rain ever again. Never, ever want this to be it. I don't want to hear anything of it ever again. It's, it reminds me of the time I heard it. I've heard a bit of trauma from it. Never hearing it ever, ever, ever again. And I... I did that. And then I thought... But... I want to like it. I, I do want to... Part of me wants to enjoy it. But the trauma, the trauma of going back. I think it's part of my OCD as well. Anyway... About a month ago, about two months ago... I decided to, to play it. I streamed it. I played it. I played the album. I stream... I stream I stream everything. But I do like buying my vinyl. I love vinyl. I absolutely love vinyl. I like my vinyl to be new. So, um, I listened to it again. And I listened to I Don't Want to Stop. Because that used to be a favourite of mine. I listened to it and I thought, this is fun. I can handle it. It's fun. And then I listened to it Not Going Away. Oh, actually, I call it No Man's Land. And I thought, yeah, it brings back, the, it reminds, reminds me of that time sort of thing. It, it, it's a good song. It, it, it's it's well crafted. And I really can't, I, and I challenged myself, completely challenged myself about a week later. Because I listened to I Don't Want to Stop a few times. And I thought, I do like this song. And I decided to listen to the album, decided to listen to the album, and wasn't sure if I liked it or not again. I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. And so, I gave the album a few run-throughs, and in fact, over the past few months now, I've heard this album numerous times, it's a, uh, I love the album. It's one of my favourite Aussie albums. It's, a, it's one of my favourite Aussie albums, and um, uh, okay, standout tracks, standout tracks. Like, like my, I, I, well, I, I actually like the second half of the album more, um, and I have to like every song on an album. Like on the album, I have to like every song. My favourites. Uh, I really like Trapdoor. I like Trapdoor. And, oh, and, and, and this is kind of spelled, by the way, look, look, just here. There's a, there's a side that's included here. Nightmare, I Can't Save You, and Love to Hate. And it took me a long time to realise these. I actually had put it up on YouTube, and I, I had never heard these songs before. Now, my favourite songs on the album. I love Chapter. I love Countdown's Begun. Um... The Almighty Dollar, great song. Silver, great song. Civilize the Universe, great song. Lay Your World on Me, great song. Um, it starts off really well with No Man's Land. I call it No Man's Land, not, not going away. I just call it No Man's Land. And even sometimes I call this album... Um, uh, oh, because Black Illusion is on Down to Earth, is that right? Black Illusion... Black Illusion is on Down to Earth. Let me quickly look out. Just make sure. Sometimes I call this Black Illusion. I'm like, no, Pat, that's Down to Earth. Um, let me just quickly look that up. I want to get that on vinyl. Very difficult to get on vinyl now. Black Illusion, yeah. Track. Oh, uh, Google doesn't put it in track order, but down, uh, Black I won't attempt to sing it. Nobody want, you don't want to hear me sing. Um, 
I, 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 you know, I was, was born to be a front man, but I can't sing. But I shouldn't sing. Yeah. The album has a very good flow to it, I think. A really good flow to it. One of my, f it's one, this is one of my favourite Aussie albums. And as for these three tracks here, the last three tracks, they're interesting. I've only heard them a couple of times. Um, my favourite track, I really like Trapdoor. I like Civilised the Universe. I like the Almighty Dollar. Lay your world on me. I mean, they're they're my fact. I like the, I love the album as a whole. I think it's terrific. I don't think there are any weak songs on this. And my favourites, as I said, Lay Your World on Me, The Almighty Dollar, Civilised Universe, Trapdoor. Um, countdown's begun. Trapdoor, Trapdoor's really good. Civ and, and The Almighty Dollar, Civilised Universe. And uh, I, lo I love vinyl, and I love a good album cover. And uh, it's like an apocalyptic Aussie here. It's just... Uh, like an, almost like an industrial Aussie, like no, 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 not industrial Aussie. It's like an apocalyptic Aussie, and it's uh, for some reason I tend to think that this album, this album, this 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 album didn't get such a good rap when it came out. I think it was overlooked somewhat. It's one, see, it's one fifty gram, one fifty gram. And uh, it, uh, I think this was overlooked. Having the vinyl, like the, the, the vinyl, the picture is so good. The picture is so good. This is a terrific album. It's one of my favourite Aussie albums. And uh, it's, um, it's quite heavy and rhythmic. Uh, but I really like everything about it. The Doubting Thomas, isn't it? That comes from the Doubting Thomas comes from Trapdoor. Um, yeah, and the uh, the very catchy. I don't want to stop. I'm very happy that I purchased this. Very happy that I purchased this. I love new vinyl. I like that, but I, I, I buy my vinyl, um, new. Well, there's like a character in this, isn't it? It's like a character. It's, um... So I was sitting here a few minutes ago, and I just thought, hey, I'm going to talk about Black Rain. I'll just talk about it. I can talk about it. I can talk about it. Uh, why not? Um... You know that thing that Zach Roll does with it? His whammy bar thing? And he does that a lot in, in I Don't Want to Stop. It works. It works. Some people could consider it overdone, and um, it's part of the character of the song. It's part of the character of the song. Slightly repetitive, but it, Zach Wilde does get a bit get carried away with that at times. Um, yeah, on vinyl, and it's terrific. I thought I'd just have a few words to say about Ozzy Osbourne's 2007 album, Black Rain. Uh, yes, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Midnight Charlie Man, Patrick, thanks so much for watching.